What's going on, my good folks? It's your man, your guy, your boy, 1127 Kicks. Disappointed, man. Disappointed. Now, we all know that, unfortunately, Kobe Bryant passed away yesterday. And um, me personally, bro, y'all already know if you've been with my page, I'm a diehard Lakers fan. And Kobe Bryant is my all-time favorite player. It's not too many Laker games that I did not see, that I did not watch on TV. And when Kobe passed yesterday, bro, it really felt like, you know, a part of, you know, my childhood, something that I cherished was taken away. And I know it was like that for a lot of people around the world with his untimely death and his daughter, Gigi, and the other people that had passed away and, you know, that unfortunate event. And while people are grieving and mourning, people are profiting off of his death. Resellers are really out here reselling the shoe. Before he died, you probably could get it for under retail or maybe a few dollars over retail. And they are charging crazy prices for this man's shoe profiting off of his death off of people who just wants a piece of Kobe Bryant that person who you know who doesn't have a pair of Kobe's and is just like man I gotta get one and stuff like that or whatever they are profiting off of his death and his demise and that's heartless as fuck that shit is lame bro like is making money that important to you to the point where you want to profit off of somebody's death not only was this man just a basketball player this man was a husband this man was a father a friend a brother a son and you you see it on tv all these people are sad and in shock over this man's death but the only thing that certain resellers because i know it's not all resellers but only thing certain people can really think about is I'm going to make a quick dollar off of this. And I hope that nobody buys a single pair of shoes from whatever people who are trying to profit off of this man's death. How would you feel if that was your family member and somebody tried to profit off of your family member's death? You feel what I'm saying? Like that junk is just not right, bro. And just for the simple fact, it's so heartless because you have multiple families in there that died. And me being a father myself, and I have a daughter, you feel what I'm saying? And this is for any father that's out there. We take pride in protecting our kids. You feel what I'm saying? That's one thing that we're going to do. A real man who take care of his kids... The last thing his kids are going to ever feel is unsafe with him. You feel me? And for the simple fact that why that helicopter is going down, even though we don't know what Kobe said to his daughter and stuff like that, what do you do in that situation? Imagine how he felt that he couldn't protect his daughter, that that helicopter was going down and it was over and done with. What would you have said to your kid? But instead of, you know, being respectful and you know respecting the people who are grieving people are really trying to make a profit off of this man's death on StockX, on GOAT people are really starting to do that and I hope nobody buys from you I hope nobody supports you if any sneaker YouTubers out there reselling his shoes I hope, I hope nobody buys from you neither and I really hope that StockX and GOAT stops people from fucking selling his shoes right now. Because for StockX and GOAT to even let people up these prices off of their, off this man's death and stuff like that, y'all profiting just as y'all profiting too. So y'all really don't care. So I really hope that Nobody profits off of this. 
I hope nobody goes out there and buy any shoes. I encourage everybody out there. If you're a Kobe fan, a Lakers fan, and you just want a piece of Kobe and stuff like that, I guarantee you Nike will be, they will drop, they will still put out Kobe Bryant shoes. They will still put out Kobe Bryant shoes. Now, some will be limited. Some will be a general release. But they will be put out and you will be able to get you a pair of Kobe Bryant shoes. You will be able to. So, I understand you grieving like I was grieving yesterday. I still am. You know, I cried like a little baby last night. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't sleep last night. It was, it's been rough. But, don't don't jump the gun. Everything is going to be smooth. And Nike will still re-release his shoes. His, the production of his shoes will not stop. His shoes will re-release and you can get them for a regular price and everything will be all right. But people are just profiting off of his name right now. And don't be one of those people that contributes to that. Do not be one of those people that contributes to that. Keep your hard earned money and just wait for another pair of Kobe's to come out and try to get your hands on a pair. But do not, do not support these people, man. That's heartless, that's selfish and I'm just disappointed, man. I'm disappointed that that definitely hurts me. You feel me? And I know it hurts a lot of other people. And that is that junk is just not right. You know? Like just imagine like how would you feel? Like just how would you feel if that was your family member and then you go on StockX, you go on go and you see people trying to profit off of them. That shit ain't right, bro. It ain't right. That shit is lame. And I really, really hope that GOAT and StockX stops the sale on his shoes. Because it's crazy that a shoe was 180 one day and then he dies. And 20 minutes after he dies and the news is official, it's $600. That's how hard y'all want to profit off of this man's death. That shit is sad, bro. And that junk is lame. So, like I said, any Lakers fan, diehard Kobe fans and stuff like that, Nike will re-release shoes and stuff like that. They will come out for retail. You will be able to get them then. And just just don't just don't fall into this loop, man. I know it's tough right now. Everybody's grieving. I remember a few weeks ago, I just sold two pairs of my Kobe's. And I'm just like, damn, like, I wish I'd have my Kobe's. But best believe I'm going to give me a pair of Kobe's for retail back in the collection you know what i'm saying so don't just don't 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 go for it bro don't bite for the bait man it's just so sad because like even nike and nike are they're great marketers nike is not even flooding the market with kobe's right now they're not even doing it and they know for a fact that they did every single pair would sell out if they put out a pair of Kobe's every day for the next month, two months, they'll probably sell out every single day. But they're not even doing that. They understand the magnitude of this. And I don't get how you guys are so heartless that y'all don't understand it neither. That's fucked up. And, you know, I pray that y'all get y'all shit together and... That y'all, that y'all just don't sell this man shit, bro. He's gone. Just don't be a heartless person, like I said. And for the people who are diehard Kobe fans, Lakers fans, basketball fans in general, just wait for a retail pair, bro. And you'll be able to get a retail pair, my dude, straight up. But... Don't don't bite for the bait, man. Don't bite for the bait, dog. Like this, it's tough, man. But like I said, don't bite for the bait. Y'all keep your head up. Y'all stay strong. To all the people who were affected by this unfortunate event, shouts out and prayers to the families who you know, family members who are not getting that much media attention, and prayers to everybody, man. I know everybody's in a you know, hurtful state, but everything's going to be all right. We're going to keep on pushing, man. And I appreciate y'all. 
And it's your boy, 1127 Kicks. And always remember, bless your feet with something. And rest in peace, Kobe. Who did hit me up and told me shit on these niggas? Cause these niggas out here came at you going showing the different. Keep on dropping all of that shit that made you for wanna listen. You know these niggas ain't fucking telling. Get out of here.